Hello, this is Peter Cunningham from Seraphim. I'd like to talk uh, you through um, user-defined constraints, which is new functionality in future version 4.1. Uh, I'd like to show how this can be used for a variety of sort of non-standard problems, including uh, imposing a constraint on reservoir production as opposed to node uh, production. What user-defined constraints are is you're allowed per well to specify a sort of pseudo-phase a pseudo user-defined fluid that's a linear function of the production of that well. So this, you define so much weight per unit of oil, so much rate, weight per unit of water, per unit of produced gas, and per unit of lift gas. And you can define that um, the defaults are zero, but you can set it if, for each individual well. And then you can also apply constraints at any point in the network on those user-defined uh, rates. You can also define what happens in terms of if you've got a split, a fr fixed fraction split, you can define what fraction of your user-defined pseudo-phase goes from one path or the other. Okay, Let, it, it's perhaps the best way to, it, 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 it's useful to have consider a, a simple example. Imagine we've got a situation where we've got uh, a reservoir, two reservoirs, one of which we, we, we want to impose a production constraint on. But in this particular case, the reservoir is produced, we've got uh, two branches of a network, and our reservoir that we want to limit is actually produced has got wells going to each branch, so you can't uh, impose it uh, there, nor can you impose it higher up because another reservoir that you don't want to constrain also comes in, so, you, so it wouldn't be possible to put the constraint at the head end. So what we've done is we have defined the production from, from the reservoir with the limit as being having a weight of 1. And what that means is that our user-defined uh, fluid will count the production from the reservoir we want to limit, but not any other production. So that's uh, defined here. Without constraints, we've got a production rate of 20,000 from the reservoir, but we'd like to limit it to, say, 15,000. So what we can do is we can put up a suitably high point in the network. We can say our user-defined fluid is limited to 15,000. Uh, in this case, it will be barrels of oil, but the uh, future doesn't know that. But it's, it's OK. And then if we run now, What we should see is a constraint on the production of the reservoir of 15,000 uh, barrels. So that's an illustration of how the new user-defined constraint functionality can be used. Thank you.